And good morning again. Welcome back to good afternoon again. <laughs> I just made this other video. Good afternoon again and welcome back to another video here from the Offcut Garage. We've got we've got like 56 amps outside. Very beautiful and sunny. Perfect weather for solar production today. Okay, as announced in my last video, we want to take care of the top partition here of our battery shelf here and get this ready to actually mount the main circuit breaker and torque all these screws up. So get ready to install our battery bank one here in the shelf underneath. Okay, let's get started here. Yeah, this all needs to come off again. nice so I leave these ones here flexible for the moment because I don't know exactly where the cables are connected for the breakers in each department here and here we can see the crack we we did the other day when we drilled the hole here and I was a bit too too fast and too forceful with the drill bit so yeah people have made several suggestions to um, mitigate this problem here I don't think it's a big concern because this is one this is a hole where one of the bus bar support sits and it will be pushed down in this location anyway so there will be no mechanical force or something yeah there are several there are several methods you can you can mitigate this one um, like gluing or drilling a little hole here at the end so it doesn't crack any further but I don't think it will be a big issue we just leave it as it is lesson learned and we do the same color coding here on our bus bars as well. Black, negative, red, positive. There, there, red. This is an old habit from when I was working in the uh, switchboard company. And once we tightened the connection to the right torque, we actually marked this with a pen. And then a second person came and did the same again, torqued all the connections again and used a second color to mark off all these screws and bolts and nuts and everything, just to make sure this is all tight. Well, if you can imagine, this was power distribution, 1000, 1500, 2000 amps flowing through bus bars. And if there's one connection not really torqued correctly, big issue. So you want to double, triple check this. This is just an old habit. I'm not, I'm not talking any of these screws here. It just make sure I've checked them all. And these are not even electrical connections. This is just holding the bus bar in place. I bought actually this heat shrink in the correct length to cover the whole bus bar from the top to the bottom in one go and then I wanted to cut out this heat shrink just in this position where I connect the cables and the breakers but well I went now with a different design we've got this clear plastic cover this shroud going over the bus bars now to isolate them but we still can see them inside I always find it a bit sad to cover this tinted copper here with um, heat shrink Well, and then I had the idea with these clear plastic covers here to cover the bus bars 
and leave them visible but also the challenge how to mount these covers you know how do we how do we put them in and make it work so we can take them off if we need to but they should be still secured in there so not falling off and originally i wanted to clamp them between the two um, shelves basically make them so tight so you just clamp in but i ended up doing well i cut the acrylic a little bit small a little bit wider than the actual aluminium so we've got this uh, groove now here and this cover here fits perfectly into this groove so there it's locked in at the bottom and I've got this uh, clear acrylic well it's like a spacer I would call it I put them in between in between the cover and the bus bar okay let's give this a try I've got some super glue here and we just glue them onto the cover here okay we let this dry here and at the top I want to use this longer spacer here and screw the spacer so tap tap a thread inside the spacer drill a hole in here and have the spacer mounted like this yeah okay the glue has already dried let's see if the theory works in practice see now they are touching the bus bars and keeping the space and I, if i push this one in there's a tiny amount of force on it, but that's super fine. That's exactly as I want it. So it clamps between the bottom acrylic sheet and the bus bar now. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's see if I can freehand drill into this acrylic as straight as possible. Oh, wow. Well, I shouldn't put this on YouTube here. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Wow, look at this. That looks amazing. The acrylic is melting around the drill. Too fast. Okay, that is long enough for my screw, but I need a bit more depth for my tab. If I go in with a tab, nah, it should be fine. Okay, let's give it a go. Alright, I put some silicone spray on it and now it's butter smooth. So this is going far enough in. But look at this, I had to drill almost half of the whole acrylic spacer here to get my thread in. So that'll be fine now. So that's how far the screw goes in. And the rest is lost, there's no thread in there. So I need to drill it on the other side as well. Yep, yeah. silicon spray lubricant. Sometimes it's all about the loop. Yeah, perfect. Wow, that is very firm and sturdy. Nice, let's see if it works. Uh, there's still one millimeter gap, but that's fine. I can live with that. It clamps the whole cover in between the acrylic sheet down here and this connection up here. So I just need to mark, mark this one here, drill a hole in the cover and put another thread here in the spacer. And then we can mount it. And then it's fixed. It's done. Need to, yeah, line this up a little bit here. 
Okay, let's do that. So my friends, I think I've got it. I got it done so far. This is this is insane work. This is so time consuming. It took me since yesterday. So this is pretty much a full day of work, like six, seven, eight hours of work just to get this all sorted. It is so much mechanical work. You know, you need to try to fit your parts together again just to realize this doesn't fit. So you need to modify another part need to file away here a little bit, need to drill another hole there. These are all non-standard parts. These are all custom made parts and they all need to fit together here in the off-grid garage now. As per my design, this is what I have imagined how it may work, how it could work, how it will work. You have to make them fit together. You know, there's a lot of mechanical work necessary. And then you fit the parts together again, just to realize, well, there's another part in the way and you need to file in a little notch somewhere so it actually fits or you realize well there is a screw in the way and you need to file out a little gap inside this acrylic but now after day two i've got it almost done and finished this was my primary idea the initial design i had in mind all the time you know with the blue LEDs, I wanted to leave the bus bars visible, but covered by this clear acrylic. So we can see through, but we cannot touch anything. So everything is safe. This was always my initial idea. Well, and now it looks like it's realized. So the only thing we still need to do is um, make some cutouts here, where the actual cable connects to the bus bar then from the breaker here, somewhere over here. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to do this. This will be the next step and then we can connect all these breakers to the bus bar But this will be in one of the next videos. Um, this was as far as I wanted to come This is a huge 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 success already to get this all done I pushed this work ahead of me all the time because I knew it would take so long and there's very little progress to see after two hours of work And I must say it is pretty nice and my design actually worked even down here, because I don't have the gap in the bottom acrylic sheet here, I've got two spacers, one here and one up there. And even this one is very, very sturdy. Yeah. Totally fine. And fully covered. Perfect, guys. This is a big, big, big step forward now in designing and realizing this battery shelf now here. I'm so glad this work is all done. This is all mechanical work, filing, drilling, tapping, testing and changing your design a bit to make it all work. But it is all done. It looks good. I like it. Could have a blue LED stripe in between, you know. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. You stay charged and we will see us again in one of the next videos coming out soon here on the channel. Again, thanks for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.